Are you looking to grow three inches in three weeks? No? You need some tips on getting your ARs gold and platinum? I guess I can help you with that instead. This is one of the most time consuming classes here in Modern Warfare 2. So if you're looking for anything specific, timestamps will be linked in the description below. And if you feel like I left out any useful tips, feel free to leave them in the comments below. To get platinum, you need to get eight ARs total gold. The order I recommend for the ARs currently in the game is as follows. The cast off 762, M16, M4, TAC 56, Lockman 556, Cast off 74U, Cast off 545, and the STB 556. I try to have this list alternate between good and bad ARs, leading to what I believe to be the best AR for last, the STB 556. And just a FYI, this guide is being made pretty early into the game's life cycle, so I'm assuming you'll be able to replace any of the shitty ARs with new better ones that get added later on for platinum progress. But if you're finding that the weapons listed here are dog shit, here are some builds that might help you out, so go ahead and pause if you need some time to look at them. And before you fry me, I googled most of these. I normally raw dog these camos and go in with no attachments because I'm a slut for ADS speed, but if you have any better builds, leave them down below. Now, let's take a look at these base camo challenges. These challenges vary from AR to AR, so I'm going to go ahead and go through each challenge individually and let you know what weapons these apply to. Get 50 kills. You need to do this with all ARs. I know you don't need explanation for this one, my guy. Point and shoot until they're down. If you're having trouble with some of the ass ARs, head back to the weapon build section of the video and try some of those out. Difficulty... Coco Melon. Get 50 kills while aiming down sights. This applies to the M4, TAC 56, Cast Off 762, and Cast Off 545. You gotta get kills again, but the twist? You gotta aim down your sight. You can do this by hitting L2, LT, right mouse button, or green on the Guitar Hero controller. If you need further explanation for this, you got bigger problems. Difficulty? Bruh. Get 10 double kills. This applies to the M4, TAC 56, Lockman 556, STB 556, M16 and cast off 74U. This one is a little tough, but with enough time, you should be able to knock this one out. All you gotta do is get two kills within a few seconds of each other for it to count as a double kill. Playing objective mode helps by keeping enemies closer together, making it easier to go for these double kills. There isn't a whole lot I can say to help you out with this one. It's a little more luck based, but every time you get a kill, be ready for somebody else to pop out because I know you love the COD reload. Knock that shit off. Difficulty? Kind of ass. 15 kills from behind. This applies to the M4 and the cast off 762. This is my least favorite challenge so far in this game. I recommend you put on dead silence to dampen the sound of your fat ass donkey feet to give you a better chance of getting that kill from behind without them turning their dumb ass head around to see you at the last second. I've heard people say that free for all helps for this challenge, but personally, I didn't have much success with it. Just try to flank like crazy and pray to the roach in the sky that you can get these. Also, if you get the map hydroelectric with all that water on it, try swimming through there. That helps a lot with flanks. Difficulty, hot ass water, not hot water, Water from an ass that is also hot. 15 hip fire kills. This applies to the TAC 56, Lockman 556, and the Cast Off 545. This challenge ain't too bad to be honest. Throw in some attachments to help boost hip fire accuracy like lasers, stocks, and underbarrel grips. I personally like the pineapple underbarrel grip a lot for this challenge, but if you're struggling with this or looking to speed up the process a little bit, playing the third person mode helps a ton. Obviously just don't ADS at all. Difficulty, spray and pray. 20 kills while mounted. This applies to the cast off 762, STB 556, and the M16. A fan favorite challenge has made its return and I know y'all are psyched. In all seriousness, this challenge really isn't as bad as it used to be. Just start mounting on every and any surface you can as you're moving through the map. One thing that helped me get this challenge done super fast was putting the deployable cover on as my field upgrade. You can throw that down, post up on it, and if you really focus on it, you should be able to get this done in a few games. Difficulty, pain. 50 kills while using a suppressor. This applies to the Lockman 556 and the Cast Off 545. I really feel like I don't gotta explain this one. Just put a suppressor on your gun, man. I personally have been using the Harbinger D20 and I think it works pretty good, but if a different one works better, let me know in the comments below. Difficulty? 30 kills while crouched. This applies to the STB 556, the M16, and the Cast Off 74U. Bro, you just gotta hit your crouch button. It ain't that hard. You can hit crouch right before you get a kill. Be careful of accidentally sliding or diving. You can sit in one spot crouched, or you can just crab walk around the map until the challenge is complete. Difficulty, glutes and thighs. 15 point blank kills. This applies to the cast off 7-4-U. For point blanks, you gotta get right in the mouth of the person you're killing. Dead silence can help you get close as well as the double time perk. You can also sit around doors and entryways and wait for somebody to come through and stuff your barrel into them. Difficulty, 
your mom. Now that we have all our base camos complete, we can move on to the gold camo challenge. For this challenge, you need to get three kills without dying 10 times with all the ARs. I get a lot of people asking me how to get this challenge done easily, and I mainly respond with two words skill issue. But actually, this one is a little tough, and I often find myself getting two kills, then dying before I can get the third. There's no easy trick to all of a sudden start popping off, but I got a few things that might help you get this challenge done. Throw in the perk quick fix and a stim to your class. Both of these things help you recover health, and this might sound crazy, but the more you regen health, the better chance of survival that you have. Also, I would recommend playing domination for this one. For me, looking at the flags and seeing whether or not my team or the enemy team has captured them gives me a good indicator of where people are spawning at. And if you do end up getting flanked, you can usually tell if a little bit of red shows up on a flag that you already have captured. Additionally, I see a lot of people running straight forward to the other side of the map and then wondering why they're dying too much. I recommend you pick a spot close to a choke point. If you don't know what a choke point is, it's part of the map that's commonly ran through, like your mother, by both teams and set up shop. By that I mean stay near your team side of the map close to this choke point and wait for little Timmy to come running through and pick up the kill. After you get the kill, reposition yourself so the next time when they come around and look at your previous spot, you can get the jump on them and get them from somewhere else. Rinse and repeat this until you get all three kills. Difficulty? Frustrating as hell. Once you get gold on all your ARs, you're ready to start working on your platinum challenge. For this challenge, you need to get 25 long shots for all of your ARs. This challenge blows ass and will probably take you a bit. It's not too difficult, but I have problems getting people to get in firefights with me at a long range. I recommend putting on the highest damage range barrel, the Harbinger D20 silencer, a four times optic, a large mag, and a stock or underbarrel attachment that can help with aiming stability or recoil. I also recommend putting on a deployable cover to your class and mount on it to help control long distance recoil better. The maps and spots that I found to help most with this are Farm 18 near A site aimed towards here. Crown Raceway on either of the outsides of the map just might have to rotate from one side to the other depending on how the other team is playing if they're going to one side or the other one more. The middle of Los Alamos works good too but it's super easy to get flanked so be careful. Most of the map on Turok, I I'm definitely saying that wrong wrong but it's good for long shots. Just try to stay as close to the edge of the map as possible or post up on one of the buildings in the middle and try to get people spawning on the edge. On hydroelectric, set up on either side of this long stretch here to get some long shots and sitting on this outside part of embassy can get you a few. And as for the other maps, I haven't gotten much progress on them, so I'm not including them here, but if you have any other spots, feel free to leave them below. I've also seen people say play invasion or ground war to get long shots, and I don't really agree with it. Obviously, on paper, it looks like a no-brainer, but I find myself running for most of the game only to see somebody at a long shot distance, and I get JFK'd back to spawn just to run all the way back and repeat the process. I just found this strat annoying. But if it works for you, go ahead and get it done. Or you can just wait until a hard car comes out and one-tap people. Difficulty? Long dick style. Well, that's all the tips I have for getting the ARs gold and platinum. If this helped you or you learned something new, leave a like. If not, dislike. If you're new, drop a sub. If you're a real gamer, follow my socials, join the Discord, and links to those are all in the description below. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, drop balls in the comments below to let me know that you did. But that's it. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Later.